Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jamie Gamer back to kick off the quarterfinal round for the Gracious Grass Tour. And we have four matches here, here for you to look forward to. Starting off with the Griefosaurus taking on the Para. Paris Tector going up against Alpha Aranosaurus. Ulura Titan against Mutabarasaurus. And Super Parasaurolophus going up against Fukuisaurus. And these should be some very interesting matches. And I'm really looking forward to getting on with them, so let's get started! Okay, in the red corner we have the helmet head itself, the Kariphosaurus. This Kariphosaurus has been mightily impressive so far, defeating both the Super Shant and the regular Shant on its journey to get to the quarterfinals. However, in the blue corner we have the Parasaurolophus. This Parasaurolophus has also been mightily impressive, comfortably defeating the Prosaurolophus in the last 16. I think this is going to be a good match. In fact, quite a few matches in this tournament have been close. Ooh, we start with our rock. Ooh, the Creeposaurus gets the opening hit. Not much damage dealt though, as all of Karifo's power is in that crate. Speak of the devil, here comes a crate and a critical block to cut. Oh yeah, yeah, because the, the para is defense type, so it won't take as much damage. But, you saw what that crit can do. Oh yes, yeah, critical block, so Kreefosaurus will be going skizzes. And the para will also be going skizzes. It's the time for the Griefosaurus on top early on. And is staying on top. Can the power even get a hit in this match? Well, it gets off a tie, you know, getting damaged that way, but not good enough for the power. Nope! The power does not get a hit off. And the Griefosaurus quite impressively wins round one. But I'm sure as you know, if you've watched these videos before, it is a best out of three. And for those of you that haven't watched before, it's a best out of three. So you know what that means. We're moving on to round two. Okay then, round two between these two grass munchers. And can the Parasaurolophus even the score? Or will the Karifasaurus take another 2-0 win? Do -do 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 -do. Um, okay, I should mention that after this tournament, well, there won't be another there won't be another vote for the next mini tournament for a while because I have a suspicion that I'll be I'll be doing my main tournament soon, and for that reason, I'm not going to do a mini tournament just yet. So unfortunately, for those of you that want an Earth and a Lightning tournament, you're you're, you're going to have a long wait. You probably have to wait till next year to be honest. Given how long my tournaments take to complete. Of course, this time when I do my tournaments, I'm not going to slow down on regular uploads like I did before. I mean, I'm going to slow down a little bit, but not that much. So there'll still be other stuff for all the other lovely people to watch. Oh, oh my goodness, a para got a hit. And... A defense boost is incoming as well, along with a light recovery. Could that be just what the para needs to turn this match around? Ooh, the super impact has been triggered though. Ooh, but the para is finally putting up a fight. I think it's had enough of Karifasaurus' shenanigans. Well, well, look at this all of a sudden. The Parasaurolophus has found some strength and has taken out the Karifasaurus to even the score. Well, just when you thought the Karifasaurus had all the momentum, all the energy, all the positivity, the Parasaurolophus bites back with its very weak bite. Which means it's all going to come down to this next matchup. Alright, round three. Can the Karifasaurus find the momentum it had in the first matchup between these two? Or can the para continue its impressive finish that it had last round? Bing, 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 bing. 
But I'll tell you, this is going to be a very tight match. Well, not if the parrot opens up with a crit. But the super impact has been triggered. Will not activate the no as it is, as it is a tie. Oh, that's another tie. Will it be three ties in a row? No, it won't. Instead, the Kreethosaurus will be getting off a death grab. Ooh, I think this is going to, as I said, I think this is going to be a very close match, this one. The Kreethosaurus really needs to get off a super impact, though, as you sense two hits from the para will end the fight. But all the Kreetho needs is a crit and a hit, and I think it will win. Uh, Ty's death, I'd say, favour the power at the minute because it does have more health. Not anymore! The Kreefosaurus scores a decisive lead and drops the power's HP in the red. Oh, I think that's game though! The Parasaurolophus has got the crit, it's got the hit, and it's taken out the Kreefosaurus. And it is Parasaurolophus who advances to the semi-finals, where she will face either the Uluru Titan or the Mataburosaurus. Wow, that was a really good match. Um, commiserations for the Karifasaurus, because it did really well. It defeated the Super Shant, and it defeated the regular Shant, and it almost got through against the power, so it definitely didn't have an easy running, and it did well to get, w to get where it got, so yeah, commiserations for the Karifasaurus, but well done to the para. Okay, now on to our next matchup, which sees the Paris Tector taking on Alpha Aranosaurus. Dino Slash! Skip! Okay, in the red corner we have, well, Parapara, of course, with the Dino Tector. Parapara! Parapara! Yes, one of the favourites in this tournament still remains. And we saw what Ultimate Leaf can do. However, in the blue corner, we have the definite outsider in this matchup, the Alpha Ranosaurus. But do not count this beast out yet, as we have seen what it can do if it gets off that crit. Even though that crit doesn't pack as much punch as it could pack, it still packs a reasonable punch. It's like a moderate punch. Just six. Ooh, Paris Tector getting the first hit. That bar will fill up, but I sense that Paris Tector will probably not need it. Ooh, the Alpha Ranosaurus though. Getting a hit back and it's Banana Surprise. Surprise! Boosh! And it's a nature's blessing. The Alpha Ranosaurus striking back. Oh, that's a tie. Here comes Green Impulse. Amazingly, we didn't see Green Impulse at all in Paris Tector's last match against the Sorolophus. Even though they both they had it, the Paris Tector had decently high technique, and the Sorolophus had had its technique boosted by technique boost. Amazing, isn't it? But that green impulse has given Paris Tector the lead. And this hit is going to extend that lead. Will it be curtains for Alpha Ranosaurus? Not yet, but one more hit will do it. Or a green impulse. Nope, the Paris Tector wasted no time here in dispatching the Aranosaurus and taking a 1 0 lead. But it's still all to play for, so it's not doom and gloom for the Alpha Rano yet. It can still come back and win, which it has done before. So let's see if it can do it again as we move on to round two. Slash! Alright, round two. Can the Paris Tector close out this match? Or can Alpha Ranosaurus fight back? We will see as we commence round two. Wow, Ranosaurus, a decent amount of power to it. But can it use that power? Ooh, 
Ooh, a softening beam. That could be that could be interesting. As the Paris Tector will now take more damage during a tie. Hmm. I just had a thought. I wonder, does softening beam and sand trap do their effects stack on top of one another? Because they both do the same thing. That might be something that might be something to test out in another video. In fact, I'll probably test it out after this video. I record. Finished. Don't even know what I'm saying. I'm a very bad commentator. <laughs> Actually, funny enough, I, I wanted to be a com I wanted to be a sports commentator when I grew when I grew up. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, when, when I was a wee little man. I wanted to be a football commentator. Well, more rugby commentator, because I didn't watch football back then. I oh wow, I sound Jordy, but I, I just do. Alright, back to the match, back to um, Theory Land. Well, back to the real world. And the Paris Tector. Oh, it's one. <laughs> that was quick. Quick as a wink, the Alpha Ranosaurus is dispatched, and Paris Tector books her place in the semi final. Are we seriously going to have all Paras in the final? <laughs> We've already got two through. If the Super Para wins later, that's three. That means all three of them are gone through. Interesting. Can anyone stop the Parasaurolophuses? Or will the Parasaurolophus win the tournament? See, this happened during the water tournament where we had two Spinos in the final. But, you know, it is what it is. We're not going to complain. We're going to move on and hope for an epic third match between the Ulura Titan and the Mutt. All right, then. In the red corner, we have the Ulura Titan, the Wolf Imposter itself. Um, has re been relatively unscathed in this tournament so far. Two impressive wins to get to this stage. And I suspect there will probably be another win because in the blue corner we have the Mutaburosaurus. Mutaburosaurus has also impressed so far, defeating the Aranosaurus in the first round before squeaking past Paris in the last 16. But this will be a tough test for the Mutt here against the Ulura Titan. But it can be done. Fun fact about Mutaburosaurus. Did you know that it had the lowest crit damage in the whole game? With its crit doing a paltry 500 damage. Which is the lowest that any crit can be. Matched by the Brachyceratops as well. But does that make Mutaburosaurus a bad dinosaur? No. Because it's what's inside that counts. Um, no, I, I, I don't know, actually. I don't know if Mataburosaurus is amazing. Well, you'll just have to find out when I do the grass tier list. Back to the match, though. The Mataburosaurus does score an early hit with that Venom Fang. And it's going to get another one. And I do know that the Venom stacks, so the poison will be stronger. Oh, maybe not. Huh. Oh, it must be like when um, you use Venom Fang and then a po uh, with a poison type dinosaur, maybe. I don't know. Oh, the Ulua Titan finally getting a hit back. And it's an atomic bomb. <laughs> not a real atomic bomb, just a, um, well, bat. Mataburosaurus so still in the lead, still only needs one hit to win this round. And here comes a hit, as it's super impact time. And that, my friends, is a 1-0 lead for the Mataburosaurus. Uh, pretty impressive, pretty impressive. Venom Fang definitely did the work there. The Ulura Titan... I think for the first time in this tournament, has been defeated. Well, was actually beaten in a round. Not defeated defeated, just beaten in a round. Oh, okay, let's move on to round two. Okay, the final, well, yeah. No, no, the second round. I lost track for a minute. Can the Mataburosaurus secure a 2-0 win? Or will the Ulura Titan power back? 
That, that doesn't make any sense. Nothing I, nothing I say makes sense. Okay, use some actual sense. The Mutabarasaurus getting off a of Venom Fang. And we definitely saw how effective that Venom Fang was in the first matchup between these two. They spit on him. Blech. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, where Titan does pack quite the powerful crit. Not as powerful as a Guanodon, but powerful nonetheless. But it just cannot get a hit off. The Mutabarasaurus looking really strong. Ooh. The Ulua Titan, though, not dead and buried yet. Getting off another atomic bomb. But it really needs to strike back with a crit. If it wants to have any chance of going through at this point. Oh, it's a tie! That's not lethal yet, though. Oh, and the tie recovery effect there, healing up the Ulua Titan a bit. So it might survive another tie. Well, we're not going to find out because the Mutaburasaurus has indeed secured a 2-0 win over the Ulua Titan. So for those of you that were wondering whether I thought Mutaburasaurus was a good dinosaur or not, the answer to that is yes. I do think it's pretty decent. Of course, there's only like uh, one or two dinosaurs in this game I think are just genuinely bad. I mean, I'm not going to name names now, but, you know, that's that's just my opinion. Oh, uh, okay. Mutaburasaurus advanced into the semi-finals. Who saw that coming? I don't think many people would have saw that coming. Maybe more people would have saw that coming because of, of how well the Sejuang did in, the to in my win tournament. But anyway, that's enough about that. Enough jibber-jabber. We got one more quarterfinal matchup for you to sink your teeth into, and that sees the superpower taking on the Fukui Saurus. Okay, in the red corner we have the Superpower Saurolophus, the only super dinosaur left in this tournament, which is quite surprising. I thought they would do I thought they would do well in this tournament, but it just hasn't happened for them. Well, except for the superpower, which is still left standing. Because paras like to do well in this tournament. All right, in the blue corner, however, we do have a Fukui Saurus, and this Fukui Saurus has been pretty solid in this tournament so far. Get scoring wins against the uh, Camptosaurus, and who did I beat in the first round? Oh yeah, the Alpha Iguanodon. He killed his cousin. <laughs> Ooh, but the superpower gets off the opening hit. And for those of you that are new here, the superpower will get its awaken mode off as soon as its health goes below half. Ooh, the Fukui Sauroso getting off that hit. In comes a Dromeo Rush to add extra damage. It won't be enough to take Para's health below half, but it will leave a mark. I'll get my wits about here so I don't miss the, the waiting mode. Ooh, here comes the light recovery and a crit from the para. Ooh, but Emerald Garden has been triggered. Oh, it's a pitiful amount of health. Emerald Garden could be just what the Fukui Saurus needs to get back in the match. Oh, and it gets it off! The Fukui Saurus is gone off the Emerald Garden. It's signature move in the anime, and we're about to see it in action again. Okay, that's definitely below half. Okay, yeah, that's below half. Yeah, that's below half. So it is awakening time for the power. Ooh, that's a tie. That will suit the para more. Oh, but that will suit the console. An egg attack. How crucial could this be? Big moment in the match. Big moment. Well, it wouldn't really matter if the para wins anyway. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's a tie! Oh, the power's gone! 
The tie is enough. The Fukui Saurus takes round one. And the Super Para is in a bit of a pickle. Can it recover as we move on to round two? All right then, round two between these two. And how big could that moment be from the first round? Can it be a platform that the Fukui Saurus can use to win? Or will that moment just delay Fukui Saurus's defeat? But you'd have to say that is definitely a big moment in the match. Power getting the crit, but the Emerald Garden has been triggered again. Emerald Garden enabled Fukui Saurus to get enough health to survive the Paris hits last time. Will it get off Emerald Garden this time? The answer to that is yes! Emerald Garden looking strong! Oh no! The, the Leaves of Death! Blech. Oh, that wasn't that much health gained, actually. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, one more hit from the Fukui Saurus, and I think it'll be awakening time for the power. And here comes that hit. But the power will be allowed to use his awaken mode, so one hit from the power next time will kill Fukui Saurus. Can the Fukui Saurus deny the power again? Well, it needs to, otherwise, the power will win this round. Oh, I can't! And that, my friend, I think is the Fukui Saurus dead. Oh, it survived! Wow, and it's got Emerald Garden! It might not be over! The Fukui Saurus... The Fukui Saurus might have just held on here. And can it hold out for a win? Emerald Garden will win it. Although that Nature's Blessing and Light Recovery could be very handy for the power. Nope, no Emerald Garden this time. The Super Para restores order there, defeats the Fukui Saurus, and evens the score. Oh, a big, big, big hit from the Para. Well, you know what that means. It's all going to come down to this next round. Alrighty then, round three between these two. Well, which one has enough fuel left in the tank to prevail? Can the Super Para build on that equalising result? Or can the Fukui Saurus find the form it had in the first matchup? Quick set. Ooh, ooh, throat start weird, huh? <laughs> Been recording for too long. Well, I, I, I ain't built for like hours and hours and hours of recording. Even though I like to do all my recording in like one session. My voice ain't built for it. Well, the Super Para showing no mercy so far. Getting off his first neck crusher of this whole match, actually. But, then again, the Emerald Garden has been triggered. Will Fukui Saurus get it off this time? And it does get it off again. Emerald Garden playing a major role in this match. The Emerald Garden enabled Fukui Saurus to win the first matchup. Well, it helped the Fukui Saurus hang on in the second matchup. Can it help it win this one? Much needed hit there from the Fukui Saurus. The Parasaurolophus was looking unstoppable. Well, 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 Fukui Saurus getting off a hit, but it is awakening time for the Para, and that could be everything. So yeah, I feel like it all comes down to this. If the para gets a hit, then she will win. If the Kuisaurus gets a hit, then he will more than likely win. Oh, it's a tie! That will suit the para, though. Oh, the Kuisaurus got another hit! Just like in the first matchup, the Kuisaurus gets off the egg attack. It's not enough to kill the para, but look at this! Look at this! Can the Fukui Saurus pull it off? 
Oh, he's done it! Just like in the first match. But Ty is enough to kill the Super Power and wipe out the last of the Super Dinos in this tournament. And what a win for Fukui Saurus. Mightily impressive. Mightily impressive. And that will end the quarterfinal rounds as we have our semi-final matchups, which I will go through now. Well, look at that for a semi-final matchup over here. We have the Parasaurolophus taking on the Mutaburosaurus. And then we'll have Paris Tector going up against Fukuisaurus. Oof. Well, out of these four, you would probably say with the Dino Tector, Paris Tector is the favourite. But, as we have seen, especially in this matchup, don't underestimate Fukuisaurus as it can pack a punch and it does have the Emerald Garden to save itself from dying. So I would not underestimate the power of this little herbivore. And Mutaburosaurus is not to be underestimated either, but I feel like with the defensive resilience that the para has, I think it will be just too much for the Mutt. So I suspect that this para is going to win this semi-final matchup. Well, to be honest, I think it'll be this para against Paris Tector, but you know, you never know, you never know. Hell, it, it could even be Mutaburosaurus against Fukuisaurus. Well, this tournament is definitely getting interesting, so I hope you enjoyed. And you don't want to miss the conclusion of this tournament, so subscribe to make sure you don't miss out. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.